What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Today we're gonna to be taking a look at Space Trash Scavenger. I don't know why that's a tongue twister for me. Uh, I don't know much about this game, but it seems pretty interesting. You know, the last big space game like this that I played was Astroneer. This is single player though, single player only. Okay, I thought when it said skip cutscene, it was gonna be like an actual interesting cutscene. I mean, not to say this isn't interesting. Um, but the thing that looks really interesting about this game is it's basically like a Rust slash Minecraft type of game where we can build an outpost and we can do some satisfactory stuff where we can build uh, some form of automation and turrets to defend us and stuff like that. So what I'm planning on doing is I, you know, I don't know anything about this game, but I wanted to um, just go into it, casually play through it for 20 minutes, maybe more if I get addicted. Uh, and then that'll be the video, it, you know, just as a kind of like, okay, let's do an introduction to the game and see what my first impressions are, you know? Whoa. Oh, really pretty already. I like it. Gravity controls. Can I go up? Welcome to Scav Corp. Tracy for short. Uh... Your introduction and training takes about 20 minutes. It's highly recommended for employees. Okay, there you go. That's perfect for the video. Just going through the tutorial. Uh, as a valued member of the salvage team, blah, 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 a hub for pickup. As you jump to the designated salvage sectors, you receive stock orders to fulfill at the market stock. Uh, to reach the hub area, you will need to use the right quadrant permit to advance the quad. Okay. It's your first day, I've added a telescanner to your suit inventory. Look around and use the telescanner to scan uh, pieces of ice floating nearby, which would be that over there. Check goals on the HUD. Something, something, something. Okay. Ice rock. Okay. I'm, I'm guessing I can just like fly around as much as I want. Okay, so it's a scavenging game. Like I scan this and it's like, oh, well now I know what that is. And then, oh, then I go over there and, whoa, <laughs> that's really far away. Okay, how do my gang get there? Uh, you may have noticed you're wearing a jetpack. Uh, you do have jetpack fuel, which you can craft using the ice you just scan. So let's get a hold of it. Later you can build thrusters to move your space rig around too. Right, we can make like our own vehicles, kind of like uh, Tears of the Kingdom and stuff. Okay, uh, a grapple gun. It has dual functionality and pull trash towards you and grapple you to nearby objects. Pick up five ice rocks. Okay. Oh! It's like the Gmod gravity gun or something. That's pretty cool, actually. The controls on it are neat. Okay, is that how much I needed? You're ready. Uh, start processing the trash. Okay. You need a packing tool and a repair torch. Thanks. To, pr to process trash and manufacture goods to sell, you need to build a space rig. Your space rig is your mobile base of operations. I've given you foundation cubes to get you started. So I'm guessing when we're playing the normal game, like obviously it wouldn't just give me all of this stuff. Um, also, sorry, my face cam's blocking it, but I'm noticing there's a health bar, a food bar, and then I guess a fuel bar. So it's got a little bit more survival than I expected. Whoa! Okay, he just gave me a lot of items. So we got a gun for pack structure. I guess removing them. Packing tool, yeah, I assume. Oh my god, how is this like better building than like Minecraft? That's really nice already. Okay, um... Something about this being a solar panel. Whatever, bro, I don't care. I'm just gonna put down, like, everything that I can. Oh, output. Oh, okay. So these output power, and then this, I don't know what those are. Uh, fantastic work. Hang on, I don't wish to alarm you, but there's an entity nearby. Um, entity nano factory on the other asteroids. They're drawn to the tech signature of your space rig. So as we get our, sig uh, our space rig bigger, 
enemies start coming at me. Okay, that makes sense. Use a mining laser to fight it off. Be aware it might be underneath us. It's a good time to test out the artificial gravity and walk off the side. Okay. Whoa. Oh, it's like Mario Galaxy or something. That's pretty cool. Can I jump? I kind of can. That's, that's kind of interesting. All right, where's where's the bad guy? What am I doing here? Oh, there you are. Nice. Uh, then I can use the gravity gun to pull its drops in. Sweet. Yeah, that's kind of cool, actually. Uh, we prioritize the safety of our employees. Uh, while we make every effort to ensure salvage sectors are secure, unforeseen hazards can happen. Entity nanofactories are heavily fortified. Just avoid them. I guess later on we could destroy them or something. Here's your atomizer and fabricator. Um, build it on socket cubes, which I'm assuming is those. Uh... I don't know what direction I need to put this in, but whatever. Oh, and then I could build stuff like that. Uh-huh. That might have been a mistake. <laughs> oh boy, this 3D building is actually kind of interesting. Uh, most machines have input ports, uh, which they automatically pick up ingredients that they use. Conveyor pads, fetch drones, trash beams. Oh, tractor beams, but it trashes item. Okay, you won't be able to get everything you need just staying in your space rig. What you thought was good trash would float straight at you. Haha, <laughs> no. High value stuff is further out. Jetpack fuel blueprint. Um, grow genetically modified algae for food. No, it sounds disgusting. And it is. <laughs> build a biotank and grow some algae. Okay. How do I build biotank? Uh, okay. Use the fabricator and enter the utilities tab. Where is the fabricator? I don't. Oh, that's the atomizer, and that's the fabricator. Okay. Whoa. Fabricator and go to the utilities tab. It just has everything unlocked right away. Yikes. Okay. So this is for my food, but it requires those. Put carbon in the biotank to craft the algae. Uh, I think it's missing a few things because it says we need oxygen and iron first. I don't know where to get those though. It seems we don't have any resources at the moment. Is that what the atomizer is for? Uh, it's not being super clear. Do I just fill these and atomize? Oh, recycle trash and rocks in the atomizer to make, uh, cubits. Oh, is this trove? Yeah, I should have read the first step, actually. Oh, and then that gives us the actual, oh, uh, okay. That's cool. So we got some oxygen. We don't have any iron yet. But I guess the point is... Get over here, you. Oh, there we go. It actually gave me more. That's interesting. It's cool that things are like graviting, like gravi bleh, gravity stuff is going all around kind of interesting. All right, what do we got here? We still need iron, which I'm guessing a lot of the crap that we just got is going to give me iron. I didn't scan it, but it makes sense that it would give me iron. Man, this gravity gun can go really far away, huh? Yeah, now we're getting iron. Okay. It's kind of neat, actually. Like, Come here, you. 
And then I guess like those are big areas. Derelict freighter, unexplored. Oh, dude, that's cool. That's like Subnautica or something then. I like that. Okay, let's see if we, do we finally have enough now? Still not enough, dang. Taking, uh, it's taking a long time to get this one specific resource that I need, huh? Wait, is that a bad guy? Oh, yes it is. Please don't notice me. I'm, I'm but a harmless, uh, a harmless spaceman. There we go. Fabricate? Is it actually fabricating? Oh yeah, it is. I just had to come out of the menu for whatever reason. Okay. Thank you. And then... It has to be on a socket. Okay. Oh, right. That means each of these has four sockets, actually. Interesting. Algae. How do I actually put carbon in the biotank to craft algae? Uh-huh. Oh, it's just passively crafting it right now. Okay, okay. You can build a power console to show how much power you are making and need. Interesting. I shouldn't have eaten that, but whatever. Don't forget to eat your algae. Oh. <laughs> um, if you want something more nutritious, look into growing a farm cube. You can sell crop at the stock market or eat them for buffs. Interesting. If this game had multiplayer, I think I would be a lot more sold on the premise. It seems like a really cool game, don't get me wrong, but uh, it being single player, like it's very text driven, as you can see, which is just not my favorite thing. Anyways, jetpack fuel. Jetpack fuel is in the items and ammo section of your fabricator. Oh, this is crafting more food. Okay. Med pack, laser charge. Uh oh, jump drive fuel, jetpack fuel. There we go. Okay, so you can queue a few things. That's interesting. Well done. Now that you have fuel, you can use it to equip it on your hotbar or by selecting it in the inventory menu. Uh, check out the altometer uh, to the left of your suit crosshair to see how close you are to the current gravity well. Interesting. So each place has its own gravity well. Okay. I've enabled the secondary function on your grapple gun so you can pull yourself around. Try it out. Expand your space rig. You'll need a blueprint shot. I've unloaded necessary blueprints to your suit so you can build one. Your introduction training is now over. That didn't take 20 minutes at all. Um, it's time for you to explore the sector and build what you need to fulfill your congenial scav corp, blah, blah, blah. Unidentified signals in the area. You can locate them on your hollow map. Blah. Contractually obligated to scav corp. Uh, I added a reminder to goals. Okay. Well, anyway, give me this so that I can uh, fly around. Thank you very much. Whoa, that was weird. Um, okay, I also, one sec. There, I just wanted to uh, swap to the corner of the screen so you guys could see the fuel and stuff going on. Okay. Um, let's see here. So, can I right click to pull myself? Woo! Okay, I go through fuel pretty quick, actually. Use telescanner for data. Okay, I think... Uh, I think we should check this out. Just so we can kind of get a sneak peek of uh, what's around. Or check out this little carbon asteroid. Unexplored, yeah. I don't know how much, uh... Is this gonna pull me in? There we go, nice. Okay. Asteroids have mineable rocks on them. Use your telescanner to identify them and then mine them with your mining laser. Now, the interesting thing is I don't have enough fuel to get back, actually, so... Use your map to get your bearings and see if asteroids are located. Um, 
purple asteroids are silicite, ice, and carbon. Okay. Whoa. It's like a full-on 3D map. That's actually so cool. Nice. I like how once you've... Whoa! Once you've scanned an item, it seems to stay scanned. So that's kind of interesting. Oh. Right, I'm on a planet. So, it, or well, an asteroid. So it's going to uh, pull things to me. So that's pretty cool. And like, I forgot about the gravity. I thought it was going to float away. Dude, is this even destroying this thing? Man. Whoa. Okay, I don't know what those are, but... Controls are a little, they're a little tricky. They're not awful. It's just taking me a little bit to get used to it. Now, the question is like, what's gonna happen if I get myself locked out here? Like, can I make more jetpack fuel? Like just on my own? Hacking tool, repair structure. Oh, I can aim. That's interesting. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna end up running out of uh, fuel, but let's just head out to this uh, station and say screw it. Whoa, hello. Kind of spooky. Well, well, well. So the Scav Corp Lackey come to requisition space junk, have you? Word of advice, pal. You ain't special. There's nothing. Uh, there's others looking for profit at Space Scav. Okay. Uh, I suppose you want to scavenge the derelict freighter. Look for resources. Maybe you'll find artifacts. Forget it. It's full of entity. Step in there and you're dead meat. Plus it's locked. <laughs> I've got, I've, the only one with an entry pass found it in the cargo crate. That gives me an idea. Think you're so special. How about you clear out the ship for me? There's something I need in there. Historical dish, blah, blah, blah. Uh, take the pass, borrow my laser rifle, and take a clip. Oh. Okay. I'm down. This music is far too pleasant. For how dangerous this might be. Oh god. That is a good gun though. Seems to have a pretty decent amount of ammo. Oh my god, they even have like gravity like elevators or whatever. I mean, the problem is, again, I'm out of fuel. Woo! This destroys them so quick. Oh, he's level two. Ugh. Don't worry, I've played video games, bro. <sighs> I'm almost dead. So we'll get to see firsthand what happens when you die. Historical data disk. Okay. I think that's the thing that guy wanted. Oh, you know what I realized? I can probably just keep pulling myself back to my space station instead of using gravity or uh, using my jetpack. That makes sense. Take all, nice. This place is kind of cool. The music's actually really nice. A little too pleasant for uh, how hostile this area is supposed to be. Okay, what are these? Oh, you're near a hatch. Use your mining laser to laser off the bolts and see what's inside. Uh-oh. That's probably not good. What 
What is that? Oh! Oh, it's like goodies! That's cool! So I wonder if later down the line you can make up your own uh, big space station thing. That'd be pretty dope. Okay, this is all dead ends now. Actually, you know what? On those elevators, I wonder... Uh, I I'm honestly shocked this game even has the fighting aspect of it. But I wonder if I can just... Oh dear god. I was gonna say if the gravity was gonna like flip and I would start like climbing, but can I? Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm not very good at it. Anyway, got some corn. So that's nice. Uh oh. Fuel low, yes I know. But, so far we were able to clear this area out pretty dang easily. I mean, well, maybe not easily, but... Oh god, really? Nothing? Okay. I kind of understand how the jetpack works. It seems like you activate it, and then you can move around, but then it will continually... Uh, degrade your fuel. Hello. And the mover. Have some credits. Uh, I guess you can keep the old laser rifle. Nice. Okay. Well, let's find out what happens if I try to go back, uh, back home here. Because I am going to run out of juice. Okay, I can do it like this. Uh-oh. And it seems like, okay, momentum is carried, so even if I let go on my jetpacks to conserve fuel, it still keeps pulling me. Hey, yo! Sweet! Now, I wonder if, I, I bet you we can't go to the big planet. Yeah, anyways, um... I like this game, it's pretty cool. Uh, I think, uh, I could be mistaken, but I think this is actually being made by a single dev, just based on what I've seen in the posts and stuff. But yeah, I wanted to do this as a one-off video just because this game seemed interesting and I kind of had it on my radar. Again, if this had multiplayer, I would be instantly sold. Because I actually loved Astroneer, like back in the day when it first came out, that was like such a fun game. Um, but so many of these like space games, like even No Man's Sky, so many of these space games, um, don't have like combat and stuff. Like even though this game seems super duper simplistic, it has a lot of mechanics that I actually like really, really like, you know, the, the momentum, the gravity, uh, exploration and stuff seems to be more dangerous while still, you know, providing good combat. And yeah, I mean... If it is a single dev, or at the very least a very, very small team behind it, it's quite impressive, and I think it's pretty neat. I would recommend that you actually watch the trailer of the game, uh, because it showcases a lot more of the mechanics that we obviously can't really do um, in the video, just because they're a little bit further along. But yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Smash like, sub for more, buy the merch you want, support the channel, and have a wonderful day, everybody.